Hello everyone, today I'm going to start uploading videos solving comparative programming problems. Uh, the first contest that I'm going to solve is the code forces round 617 of the previous days. Uh, let's start with a problem A, array without sum. Let's solve it. Uh, I think you have already read it. Um, they are asking us. They are. They are giving us an array A with n numbers A1, A2, until AM. They also uh, give us an operation that is defined as choosing a learn, uh, element AJ and assigning it to other element AI. Any number of times, um, we can choose any element or assign it to any other element any number of times as we want. And after that process, we can also not do this. We're going to have the sum of all the elements. And, and they want us to have an odd sum. It means congruent to one, mod two or in other words, multiple of 2 plus 1. So my approach is let's count the number of odd elements and even elements in the array. They are the ones that are multiple of 2 plus 1 and they are multiple of 2. Uh, let's suppose that we have n1 numbers odd numbers and n2 even numbers. We know that the sum of n1 and n2 is n. So I think we have three cases. If, for example, if n1 is equal to 0, then n2 is equal to n. And if all our numbers are multiple of 2, for example, 2k1, 2k2, until 2kn. Uh, if we assign one of the numbers to the other, it's going to remain even. So the sum, if it's even, it's not going to change. So it, does, it doesn't have sense to use the operation that they have defined. And the sum of all the elements is going to be 2 plus the sum of k1 to kn. Uh, it's multiple of 2, or it's congruent to 0, mod 2. So in this case, uh, it's not possible to obtain an odd sum. In other case, if in n1 equal to n2 equal to 0, if we have if all our elements are odd, uh, we can't change the parity of the elements. For example, if our first element is 2k plus 1, 2k2 plus 1, and 2km plus 1, if we select one of them and use the operation to change it with the other or to assign it, uh, it's going to remain odd, so uh, we are not going to change the parity of the sum of all the elements, so uh, the, the operation is not, it's not going to be used. So we are going to only look at the original elements, or the number of elements. Let's suppose that uh, the number of... Uh, we have an even, an even number of elements, so uh, if we have an even number of elements, the sum of AI is going to be 2 times K, uh, K1 until Kn plus n times 1. This is even, and this is an even number, so this is going to be an even number, and we are not going to change the parity. However, if the number of elements is odd, uh, we're going to have uh, two 
k1 let it to kn plus m this is going to be odd this is going to be even so we're going to have an odd zoom and this is possible this is not possible and there's other case when neither n1 or n2 are equal to zero so we have n1 different from zero and n2 different from zero in this case uh, there's always going to be a solution because let's suppose that i have a1 a2 until a k k plus one until a n they uh, they are going to be odd and they're going to be even in here we're going to always have a yes solution because if I assign all the other odd numbers an even number I'm going to have I don't know how many numbers but all of them are going to be even and we're going to have only one odd number so I'm going to have a1 plus a2 until I said that new a2 until the new am and if right now there are even numbers we're going to have an even sum this is an odd number and an odd number plus an even number is going to be odd so this is always going to be possible to obtain a solution so uh, we have to call this there are no other cases we have covered all the cases so let's start with Bar, section. Uh, they're going to give us the number of test cases, there are two test cases, so that's great the number of test cases. And solve it and solve the formation. In this case, we're going to have a number of elements and uh, numbers. Uh, now we're, I'm going to create the variables odd and even that represent the number of odd numbers and even numbers. They are Input to zero at the beginning, we have all numbers counted. And then, if uh, the, the number, well, the ISM number is, is even, I want to count one to the even numbers, otherwise, I want to count one of number. Then, if we have no odd numbers, then there's no possible. It's not possible to create or create a new array which its sum is an odd number. So, in a price no. And we finish the case. Otherwise, if we have no even numbers, all our numbers are odd. In that case, we have other case that it was if the number of odd numbers is even, we have oh, is it possible answer, or it was possible. And here we have at least one odd number and at least one even number. It's, it was always possible to create an array with odd sum. It's always possible. Um, so, uh, 
let's try that as case. Yes, no, yes, no, no. No, just yeah, I think it's working. So let's submit the solution. Also, the time complexity is fine because we have two test cases on which test case we're going to read the numbers and then with a four uh, look at each number one time so we're going to have n operations t times so it's m times t um, the multiplication of both it's less less um, equal to to one million so it's always going to pass in less than one second. Yeah, no, that's it. So it's correct. Alright, thanks for watching. And see you in the next video.